Hey there Nocturnes! Welcome back to English Me here on Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark. Ako nga pala alat si Kuya E ng inyong class president. Noong nakaraang meeting with Sir Jeremy, diniscuss niya ang tungkol sa different formats of academic text. Pero nalaman natin na hindi pala sila different kundi same. Ang naging different lang doon ay yung terms na ginamit. IBC, ABC format, whatever. Pero isa lang naman pala yung ayos. Basta merong simula, gitna, at pangwakas, academic text yun. At nag apply yan sa lahat ng mga pinabasa sa atin ng ating mga teachers. Na unawaan din natin na kapag alam natin yung ayos na isang text, mas madali natin yon maiintindihan. Alam natin na itong paragraph na to ay pasimula lamang. Kaya kapag mag-aaral tayo, hindi tayo magiging masyadong seryoso. Pagdating sa introduction, kumbaga, dapat pag binabasa natin ang introduction, introduction ng isang text, you may sense of enjoyment. We're trying to get to know the topic, so wag mo nang pagurin yung utak. Dum, pag dumating na tayo doon sa gitna, o doon na lang tayo magseryoso, karirin yung pagbasa. At pag may memorize ng terms, kung may test. Pero sa introduction, hindi talaga dapat sineseryoso yun. Conclusion, doon medyo seryoso kasi... Sa conclusion, yun yung mas madalas na naaalala ng mga readers. Sa gabing ito, pupunta na tayo sa artistic side ng text. Kasi malalaman natin sa gabing ito na may iba't iba pa lang language na ginagamit. Pati sa English. Kasi hindi lahat ng mga salita sa English ay alam ng lahat. At hindi ginagamit sa pang-araw-araw na pakikipag-usap. Kung wari, defecate. Nagamit mo na ba yung defecate sa casual mong pakipag-usap sa kaibigan? Hindi, di ba? Pero ginagamit yon for medical reasons. Kung hindi mo alam ang ibig sabihin ng defecate, search mo na lang sa Google. Spelling hulaan mo kasi ayoko i-spell out dito. Baka i-bash ako. Kasi pag nalaman nyo yung meaning nun, basta i-search nyo na lang. Tapos tsambahan na lang sa spelling. So samahan nyo na ako sa klase natin ngayon at alamin natin kung ano-ano ang iba't ibang lingwahe ng English. Oh English me Oh English me Gusto kong matuto ng English pero hindi alam kung paano So for tonight, Nocturnes, we're going to explore the different languages within a language called English. If you notice your readings well, you will find that the kind of language used in the social science courses that you have taken, like understanding culture, society, and politics, are used every day and can be heard or spoken in ordinary conversations with classmates, parents, and other people that you're likely to encounter. But if you study biology, chemistry, and other branches of science, you would find that the terms they use there, such as homeostasis and cardiothoracic surgery, those are just the best that I can think of as of the moment. They're not used in your conversations with your mom or dad or best friend, not unless they're taking you to surgery or a checkup or accompanying you to a checkup with a doctor. Now, such peculiar language is called jargon. So we're going to explore jargons tonight. The term jargon points to the unique language associated with particular disciplines. And there are many types and we're going to explore them one by one. We have medicalese jargons from the root word medicine. These are jargons used by doctors and you'd find in the example column terms that doctors are most likely to use like insomnia, osmosis, legalese. These are the jargons used by lawyers. If you notice the examples, prima facie, plaintiff, defendant, these are terms that you hear if you watch Law and Order or any show on TV or actual live court hearing. These are the words that attorneys use. Journalists, so from the root word journalist 
or journal. These are jargons used by those who work in the media, particularly print media. And you'd find examples on the right, the beat, headline, libel, and many more. Commercialese or mercantilese used by people engaging in business, used in the field of commerce and industry. We have words like expenditure, purchasing power, merchandising. Could you still take the nosebleed? I hope you still get your blood together up there. Technicalese. These are used by technocrats. So what are technocrats? They are people engaged in the field of science and technology. And we have terms like aerodynamics, hydrostatics, etc. Diplomaties. Language used by ambassadors or diplomats. It's used in the field of foreign service. We have ambassador of goodwill, courtesy call, diplomatic course, state visit, uh, and others. Teacheries, from the word teacher, these are words used by your teachers. We have, the word, we have terms like special education, assessment, anecdotal records, performance. Motheries, language used by mothers. Who would have thought that mothers had their own language? We have words like baby talk, breastfeeding, feeding bottles, etc. Telegraphies used by texters. Do you remember these shortcuts before social media emerged? People used the shortcuts when texting because at that time the keyboard on the keyboard on cell phones were not yet of the QWERTY arrangement. So let's say you want to type the word C, sorry, let's say you want to type the letter C. You'd have to press a certain number three times. That's why, because it's tedious, people created shortcuts. Computeries, these are jargons used by computer specialists and it's used in ICT. We have terms like kilobyte system, debugging. By now that we have discussed the different jargons, it's up to you to uh, research the meanings of the jargons used in the different courses you're taking. And to end the first series, congratulate yourselves, by the way, for making it this far. As for our culminating activity, I want you to answer these essential questions. You may comment down below your responses. And so we're now synth synthesizing and then in addition to the words of the night that you post, we can, I can also cite these on the special mention segment in the next episodes. So just again, comment down below your answers to these questions. Survive in the dark, everyone. See you in the next series. Oh, English me. Pero hindi alam kung paano Sino ang magtuturo Gusto kong matuto na talaga Oh English me Word of the Night Seditious, adjective. Ang first three na makapag-comment sa baba ng meaning at ng kanilang original sentence ay magkakaroon ng special shoutout sa susunod na episode. Kaya ano pa hinihintay nyo, Nocturns? Mag-comment lang kayo sa baba bago magsabado para masama naman sa editing ang inyong posts. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, ilike lang sa baba. Kung may mga katanungan o suggestion, mag-comment na lang din. Saka... I-share nyo naman din ang video na to or ang channel mas maganda sa mga kakilala yung senior high sa Pilipinas na naghahangad na mag-aral sa kabila ng pandemya kasi alam nyo naman na kanya-kanya ng diskarte para makahanap ng resources sa pag-aaral, yung reliable pa. At isa na dito ang Nocturno Sage, well, kung naniniwala kayo reliable ang Nocturno Sage, saka magsumali din kayo sa ating private Facebook group ang tawag doon, The Nocturne Space. Kaya para kapag may mga topics kayo na hindi ko yung comfortable na pag-usapan sa baba. Kasi pag nag-comment kayo sa baba, nakapublic yun. Pero kung gusto nyo 
na hindi kayo makilala ng buong sanlibutan ng netizens, pumunta lang kayo sa Nocturne Space. Mag-send kayo ng, ng membership request tapos i-approve namin yun. And igit sa lahat, no, mag-subscribe kayo sa kahit yung notification bell para hindi kayo mahuli sa mga latest release namin every Tuesday. Ang Nocturne na Sage pala ay hindi lang tungkol sa English Me or AYAP. May apat na larangan ang focus ng Nocturnal Sage. Una ay ang self-conquest. Kapag may pinagdaraanan kang dark emotions like depression or anger, ito rin ay isang powerhouse ng mga advice para ma-overcome mo yung mga nararamdaman mong hindi mo gusto. We do not run away from those emotions kundi hinaharap natin at ginagamit natin yung energy ng at dark emotions na yon para to be our best. And then second, communications. Kaya nga may English me, isa yun sa paraan para tulungan ang mga gustong i-improve ang kanilang pagbabasa, pagsusulat, pagsasalita, mas lalo na, sa kapakikinig. So kung gusto nyo na lumago ang inyong communication skills, mag-suggest lang din kayo ng topics. Aside from English me, EA, meron ding kung pag pwede rin kayong mag-request ng mga ng, let's say, playlist tungkol sa pagsasalita, developing confidence. Leadership. Kapag ikaw ay isang bagong student council president o kapag working ka na at nasa young adult stage ka pa, bagong promote. Kung bago promote ka at gusto mong malaman kung paano ka hahawak ng tao, makikihalubilo sa iba't ibang uri ng kliyente, bisor, yon Para din sa inyo, ang channel na to. Pwede magbigay na advice si Sir Jeremy tungkol sa kung pa paano mo ma-overcome yung struggles mo as a leader. And then finally, kapag naghahanap ka ng paraan para lumago sa inyong career bilang estudyante o professional na kahit sa kahit anong larangan, basta ikaw ay teenager or young adult, whether by body or at heart, basta open ka na matuto kay Sir Jeremy, you've chosen the right channel. Sa, self, sa expansion, yun yung ap, pang-apat na kategorya. Sa expansion, tuturuan ka kung paano gamitin ang mga skill sets mo upang ma-achieve mo yung career growth na ninanais mo. Salamat sa panonood. Ako si Kuya N, ang inyong class president. See you in the next episode of English Me here on Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark.